Good morning. Welcome to the praise service this morning. Do we have some announcements? Yes, we do. Uh, first of all, just a couple repeat announcements. Um, someone from the Board of Communication will be out in the gathering space taking reservations for appointments for pictures for the new directory. Um, emphasis again that you know the new directory is important for our ministry here at Emmanuel. So if you haven't signed up, please do so soon. And we have actually added another date, Tuesday, October 7th. Um, to take more pictures. Um, Parish Planning Council, of course, made the decision that today will be our last day with just two Sunday services. Beginning next Sunday, we'll have traditional service at 8 and 10.30 and contemporary at 9.15. Yes. Um, youth Sunday School and the Berean class will continue to meet at 9.15, and then the other adult class will meet at two times, 9.15 and at 10.30, and that'll be in the Martin Luther Room. Um, this Thursday, September 11th at 6 o'clock, there is a meeting for anyone that wants to help work with thanks and giving. And then immediately after service today, well not immediately after, but like at 9.15, we'll be meeting downstairs for an intergenerational rally day to kick off the youth Sunday school. There's other announcements and more details about all of this in the bulletin along with the schedule for the week. Thank you. Would you please stand and we'll begin our worship. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give, Give me the understanding, and I shall keep your teaching. I shall keep it with all my heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to decrees and not to unjust gain. Turn my eyes from beholding falsehood Give me life in your way. Fulfill, Fulfill your, your promise to your servant, your servant which, which is, is for those who fear you. Turn away the reproach that I dread, because of your judgments are good. Behold, Behold I, I long for your commandments. commandments. By, By your, your righteousness, righteousness enliven me. And we sing our gathering song, Jesus, lover of my soul. Jesus, lover of my soul, all consuming fire is in your gaze. Jesus, I want you to know, I will follow you all my days. For no one else in history like you, and history itself belongs to you. Alpha and Omega, you have loved me, and I will share eternity with you. It's all about you. Thank you. 
blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the sovereign over all the earth, the wisdom from on high, the merciful judge and savior. Amen. Let us boldly approach the throne of grace, trusting in God's mercy and love. Gracious and faithful God, we confess, we confess to you all ways, known and unknown, that we reject and undermine your steadfast love. Through you made us people, we treat strangers with suspicion. Through you gave our debts, we collect the mercy. Yet we are quick to pass judgment on others. Have mercy on us, O God, and remember your promise to us. For the, the sake, sake of Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of God will stand forever. Through the living word, Jesus Christ, God forgives your every debt, your every sin, and gives you a new heart and a new spirit. Amen. Amen. and preserve your church with your per perpetual mercy. Without your help, we mortals will fail. Remove far from us everything that is harmful and lead us towards all that gives life and salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please be seated, and if the ushers will come forward, we'll have our offering. Special music this morning is by Daniel and Jeremy Bradshaw. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. The 
sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me sing in when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. And when my strength is failing, the end draws near, and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years, then forevermore. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name, bless the Lord. Worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name, yes I worship Your holy name, yes I worship Your first reading is from Ezekiel chapter 33 verses 7 through 11. So you mortal I have made a sentiment for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked O wicked ones you shall surely die and you do not speak to warn the wicked to turn from their ways. The wicked shall die in their iniquity but their blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked to turn from their ways, and they do not turn from their ways, the wicked shall die in their iniquity, but you will have saved your life. Now you mortals, say to the house of Israel, thus you have said, our transgressions and our sins weigh upon us, and we waste away because of them. How can then we live? Say to them, as I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the depth of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from their ways and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? The second reading is from Romans chapter 13, verses 8 through 14. Owe no one anything except to love one another, 
for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love thy neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know that time, what time it is. How is it now the moment for you to wake from sleep? For salvation is near to us now, and when we become believers, the night is go far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reviling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and lucidiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Please stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Healing rain is coming down, it's coming nearer to this old town. Rich and poor, weak and strong, it's bringing mercy, it won't be long. Healing rain is coming down, it's coming closer to the lost and found. Tears of joy and tears of shame are washed forever in Jesus' name. According to St. Matthew, the 18th chapter, reading verses 15 through 20. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you're not listened to, 
Take one or two others along with you so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Let us pray. Gracious God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of each heart gathered in this place be acceptable unto you, a rock and our redeemer. Amen. You may be seated. Well, we've been announcing for several weeks now that next Sunday is our anniversary. And that's wonderful. We're delighted to have that. We have special things planned. It should be a very enjoyable day. But there's also another anniversary. It comes a little sooner. And it's not an anniversary of Emmanuel Lutheran Church per se. This coming Thursday, we commemorate the 13th anniversary of September 11th. What is it about that day that you remember? Uppermost in our minds, surely, is the horrific events and the taking of so many lives. Hopefully, equally in our memories, are the celebrated heroes of that day, those women and those men who chose to think of others' needs before their own and despite their own. What made them face their own terror that day and walk through that terror in order to help others? Now, I think we must not be under the illusion that somehow those people were different from us. I really don't think they were. No, the heroes of September 11th were ordinary women and men very much like us. They faced the same dailiness of life, educating and clothing their children, paying the rent and doctor bills, relaxing on evenings on the porch with their families, mowing the lawn on weekends, looking forward to a little vacation time away. They had aunts and uncles, parents and grandparents, husbands, wives, children, and friends who both delighted and irritated them. They are we. Such courage, I am convinced, such courage is not the making of an instance. Such courage comes from lives that are daily lived in small acts of courage. How we die speaks of who we are. Those women and men were able to forget their own lives in that moment on September 11th because they had made a lifetime of such forgetting. Each day they confronted experiences that became a part of the actual fabric of their deaths in daily small deaths to self, in daily responses of care in the face of trying circumstances, they made decisions to love. In many small ways, they let go of their own lives only to receive life in return. And thus did they imperceptibly grow in largeness of heart and spirit. I bet few, if any, would say this, but I'm equally assured that each of those who risked and ultimately gave their lives lived Sunday through Saturday in such a fashion of self-forgetfulness. Writer Kate Daniels, observing these ordinary men and women, said that these heroes have been given to us that we might be reminded of our own potential largeness of heart, of the ways in which we might possibly transcend our own narrowness, our own fear, our own timidity. It's a good phrase. Our own potential, largeness of heart. It's no secret, unless you haven't been paying attention, 
that God calls upon that potential, when God gives us the gospel for this day, the gospel that says, yes, conflict is real. Why do you think it would be any other way given sinful nature? But dealing with that conflict requires us to put our own needs aside in favor of honesty, integrity, and respect. This process, Jesus outlines, can turn conflict from the destructive thing it can be to the constructive thing it should be. As Paul tells us, owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. Why would he say this to you? Why would he speak these words to you? Record them so that you could hear them on this day, if God did not believe you have such great potential within you. We're each made in the image of God, and we know that God is love. God's way of being flows within us. Forgiveness, reconciliation, unconditional love, truthfulness, steadfastness, piety, Mercy, graciousness, acceptance in the face of diversity, hope, all of these and many more are seeded throughout us and they are ratified at our baptism. God's grace is ready at any moment to assist the growth of these virtues and others. The hallmark of our faith is that we are not alone and that Jesus is with us now and every day. It is an acknowledging Jesus' presence wherever two or three are gathered that makes life together possible. Perhaps it would be a good thing for us to take a solemn journey on Thursday. A good time to sit down and write our own obituary or construct our own memorial service for us. What do you want your friends and your relatives to recall about you? What do you want them to say about you? What do you want them to remember you for? What are the small self-forgettings called for by our lives? I urge you to begin living them today. What is one way that you can reach out to another this week? Begin that reaching out. What is the one thing most needed from us at this time by our husbands or by our wives or our, our children or, or our mothers or fathers or our sisters or brothers? What is the one thing most needed by them? Begin this day to answer that need. Who do you need to forgive? Begin the process of forgiveness now. Perhaps the first step is simply praying for the grace to forgive. I believe that these daily acts of small self-forgettings are more difficult than one big act. These acts take diligence. They take courage. They take conscious effort. But God is always ready to give that courage, that energy, and that support to shore us up with God's own strength. God stands ready now to infuse us with God's own very self, to encourage us to live the lives of heroes, the heroes that we are created to be. And Lord knows, this world needs heroes. Amen. To please rise.
Our song of the day this morning is I Believe in Jesus. It's a, it's a new song, so we're going to do the first verse, and then we'll go back and do it again. join me in confessing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe believe in God, God, the the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, God's only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With the whole people of God in Christ Jesus, let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. God of love, your church is a place of relationship. Give us understanding to care for you and each other with our whole hearts. This morning we pray especially for Advent Lutheran Church in Sylvania and their leaders. God of love, your creation is a precious gift. Turn our hearts to share its resources wisely rather than in selfish gain. Hmm. God of love, your desire for us is peace. Lead us along paths of justice and give us delight in living with honor and loving our neighbor. God of love, your ways are goodness and life. Free us from those things that create fear and dread, loneliness and heartache, pain and disgrace. We pray especially for those whose names are listed in the bulletin, 
along with those that we name aloud or silently at this time. We pray for those in care facilities, those bound at home and all caregivers. We ask for your blessings upon those in the military. God of love, you gather us around your word, your font, and your table. Teach us to be a community of grace and witness. We give you thanks today for the mission of our Christian education here at Emmanuel. God of love, your promise to us is resurrection. Confirm in us that promise as we remember those who have died trusting in you. Trusting in your mercy and goodness, we bring before you these prayers and whatever else you see that we need in the name of the one who sets us free, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The blessing of Almighty God, the Father of glory, Jesus Christ, our peace, and the spirit of truth be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. And we sing our sending song, Hosanna.
go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.